Because then I said, I hear folks say it all the time. I come around her, I ain't getting nothing. Mm, wow. I hear it in the spirit. Sometimes I have to be careful, you know, Dr. Anna, but you know what I do? I be saying, oh God, I don't want to fight them people. I'm just, you know, sometimes you got to be humble. Wow. So I'm honest. I, one day, the pastor and his wife was talking about me at a restaurant, and the Holy Spirit let me peer into hearing what they said against me, and I had to see them folks the next day. The Lord said, how dare you look at them cross-eyed? How dare you? My God. The Lord said, this is a trick from the enemy because you need something from them. There's something that you need or you won't be able to get to your next dimension. Come on, I'm tired of levels. I've been on too many levels. I've been on the church and they put you in one Sunday school. To, do they have advanced Sunday school? Do y'all have advanced anything? Oh, no. You put me on that already. I think that I've done that. That's how the Lord began to show me a thing. I said, God, is it? So he allowed me to hear their conversation. And then when I brought it to them, they said they didn't, they weren't, they didn't say that. Mm -hmm. And the Lord showed me exactly how they said. I never challenged my leader. But see, I was a novice then. Yeah. <laughs> I came as a novice. I didn't see that God was going to use the man and woman of God to catapult me to where I am now. Because unless you got training in the palace, you won't act like you in the palace, but you still pit. You still pit, boss. You still live in the pit. You eat in the pit. You act like you in the pit. But God said, I'm tired of pit leaders. He said, Bridget, I called you to raise up leaders that know how to act in the palace. Cause y'all been in the trap too long You already know what ghetto is But in order for God to take you to another place You gotta be trained in the palace And if you don't wanna be trained in the palace God said I still a beast See you later That's what he showed He said you keep I didn't understand when my mother, we would do things, and my mother, I could say that she gone now. If I said it and she was here or she was looking on Facebook, she'd call me. What you say? <laughs> that lady, that lady had the ability to get me straight in three seconds. I said one time at church I was preaching, because sometimes my mother would be irritated. Because my mother, when I said and did things, I knew I didn't even, sometimes I got confused. My wires got confused. Come on, let me use somebody's hand. Uh, I can use your hand. Oh, I, I got confused because I would be up there preaching and I'll say something. And when I come down, she do my hand like this. And I'm like, what does this chick hit me for? Because I'm grown. And I didn't understand why she was hitting me. She really wasn't hitting me. She told me something. She said, Bridget, when you a true shepherd, you will learn how to correct your sheep by the staff that you have in your hand, but you can't take the staff and break their wrist. You got to just simply tap them, and they will get familiar with your touch. And when you tap them, they will understand which direction to go. But when you break their wrist, So sometimes folks say, they don't like them taps. Oh, wow. I didn't break your wrist. Mm -hmm. I didn't hurt you. I didn't wait for your wrist to be healed. Mm -hmm. So I just tap, tap, tap. Uh -huh. Tap, tap, tap. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do that to my son. He be like, Mark, what you hit me for? I said, I'm not hitting you. I'm showing you. Because sometimes he get angry. 
He worked, he worked for a big prestigious company. And sometimes he said, my boss, I said, you know what, y'all better stop going around here talking about your boss don't know nothing. You ain't the boss. So when you ain't the boss, you got to learn how to respect and reverence the boss that's the boss. Because you'll never become the boss when you don't respect the boss. That's right. That's right. My son said, my boss dumb. He don't know how to read the scale. He know how to read. You ain't the boss. Okay. Right. Come on. You ain't the boss. Hmm. That's right. The Lord said, I had to allow Joseph to be in the pit so he can learn how to be the boss in the palace. You can't learn how to be the boss in the palace because you still think you pit boss. I was operating in the pit. My brother had built a huge construction company making millions of dollars. I come in, he said, I hired you. What that mean? He would always give me instructions on who the boss was. I didn't understand because I thought he was being facetious. I thought he was using his authority. I thought he was, sometimes folks can tell you that folks are, are under the power of control and manipulation. But my brother was making millions of dollars then, and I was making. Uh oh, come on, catch the fire. So, what he was saying to me one day, you're going to be in the palace operating your own businesses. But until you get to the palace, huh? You a pit boss. You got to learn. Some of y'all don't know how it is to operate in a palace. Because you think that this is the pit. Because yeah. yeah. you've been in the pit and your mama been in the pit. Don't mean I know what the pit is. Uh -oh. Come on, catch it. Come on, catch it. Come on, catch it. Come on, catch it. I didn't understand what the Holy Spirit was saying. But I found out yesterday what he was saying. He gave me, that's, that's why I'm glad. I don't really sit by too many people that talk to me doing, doing different things. Because see, I don't need to know what you said. You ain't got nothing for me. I need to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Because you can talk to me later. Yeah. You know, now or later. <laughs> you really can talk to me later. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there. And God, I thank him today because I realized it when I got home. He said, do you realize what I allowed you to be in? Do you realize what I saw, what you saw? Do you realize what you experienced? You experienced history right before your eyes. He said, that's why I have you go hard to train both so you know how to act in the palace but you can't keep acting like you a pit boss in the pit cause only folks you talking to in the pit is those that stuck just like you come on they ain't graduated they'll never graduate in the pit that's good yes. 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 ain't no graduation in the pit that's why the Lord allowed Joseph to go to the pit he said but when I take you out of the pit he said, you need a governor. You need somebody that will govern you to get you out. Guess what? Only person that could have got him out was a kingdom redeemer. Guess what? Wait, wait, wait. And he went Pharaoh, he was a king. He was a kingdom redeemer because he was the only one that could get him out of that pit. But the only way you're going to get out of the pit, you got to tell the butcher, the baker, the candlestick man. Because there's somebody down there that's going to recognize. But didn't nobody remember once they got out? See, this is how the pit works. Once you give them the word and they got delivered, they don't even know how to come and help you get a restaurant. They don't even know how to help you get the information because they say, hey, Obama out. We out and we stand out. And we don't even remember you. Yes, 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 yes. That's what they do. Because they don't 
Because the pit only know the pit. I heard the Holy Ghost. Come on, right. I heard them so plain. Yes, he said, pay attention. I didn't get it. He said, pay attention. I didn't even understand what I was paying attention to. He said, look, your mama prophesied about history. She died, but I let you experience the history. Yes, amen. My mother the one who lived in the history. I didn't. I wasn't even concerned about that kind of history. Yeah. But the Lord said, this is why I raised you up. I found out yesterday why he really raised me up. Yeah. I thought I knew. I did. I, I thought I knew. Sometimes we take the Holy God for granted. I'm thinking I knew my purpose. I'm thinking I knew. You know, he said, no, remember you showing up as the what? As the student, not the teacher. So how could you read that? Yeah. Mm. So he was showing me. He said, let me show you what you witnessed. I sat there. They kept saying that the king yesterday, he was the king of Ghana. He ain't your king. He ain't the United States king. But he's still a king. king. Uh oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So the Lord showed me the disrespect that America, that our people have for dignity. He said that they keep asking me for something. And the Lord showed me. They was asking to stand up for the king. And I heard the religious people, he ain't my, I, Jesus is my king. He is my only king. But if there is a natural, there can be only a natural king because there's a spiritual king. Come on, why didn't you get it? There has to be a natural apostle because there was a spiritual apostle. You wouldn't have it unless. Yes. That's right, the spirit burns. That's right. So what he's saying, he said, still honor it. Yes. Wow, that's good. Yeah. So I saw people walking around. They ain't going to see another king uh -huh. natural in their life. Yeah. yeah. But I'm hearing people in the spirit. Oh, he yeah. ain't my. Sometimes y'all so religious that y'all still out of what? So when they said stand for the judge, you're going to stand for the judge whether you want to. They will right. make you stand. Oh, Go yeah. court and don't stand for the judge. Oh, they yeah. will hold you in they contempt can. because he's the judge whether you want him to be. Well, he, Jesus is my righteous judge. Well, you're going to go to jail. As a matter of fact, they got the power to throw you in jail. Yeah. And no lawyer can get you out That's for heaven's right. Lord. That's right. I've seen them put people in contempt. Yeah. I ain't standing up for no judge. Yeah. Don't stand up. The bank of you know I've seen it too. I've seen it too. You make everybody <laughs> don't stand up. Guess what happened? Or do too much talking. They're gonna escort you right out of the court. That's right. Show Talk the up. second time, they hold you in contempt. Show do. That's hold you right. in contempt, they put you in jail. Sure enough. They'll give you three weeks in the pokey. Yes, they will. To teach you respect. Yeah, that's right. What does God say? Yeah. Come on, look at somebody and say, what is God saying? What is God saying? Come on, look at somebody and say, what is God saying? What is God saying? I didn't get it. He said, what is God saying? God began to show me. He said, did you see what you was witnessing? I saw right before my eyes 